Libra, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my darlings. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Libra, if you found this message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender or age here, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, it, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. And remember, roles can always be reversed. Libra, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Let's talk about your energy. You're working a lot. Um, take care of yourself, okay? I feel like you're working um, to keep a promise or, yeah, I want to say it like that. To keep a promise, like you said, I'm going to make a commitment to myself to do this and, and get this done until such and such changes or until I get here or until this happens, you know? Um, whatever it is that you're basing uh, this work ethic on is already yours. Uh, so don't break your back in the process. Uh, don't let the fact that you're working deny you uh, the comfort of divine timing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's see what's going on. We're pulling from the wisdom of the oracle for you, Libra. Yeah. Deep knowing is coming out. And there's the new life. I told you, it's already yours. You already know it. And because you know it, you're just trying to keep yourself like super duper freaking busy because you don't want to mess it up. You don't want to get caught up. Um, you don't want to deal with any obstacles and any obstacles you have right now. You have your dukes up ready to knock them down. You know, that's just where you are. Uh, that's the energy you're operating in. Um, but I want you to I, I just want you to have some comfort with divine timing because uh, divine leaning into divine timing will give you peace and comfort structure in your life you have to, you know i i know you're putting structure in your life and working hard uh because you know a new life is uh on the horizon but structure and discipline should f give you free time and it should give you freedom in your mind um because you already have the structure and discipline in place then it should become a regular routine as opposed to the the mindset of work 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 you know what i mean so that's what that's what i want you to be mindful of okay you're going to have a new life that's going to be seen by many okay they're going to it's just going to be seen by many um then you'll have peace, but the peace that you have is going to be questioned, all right? And the answer to that peace, when someone says, well, why do you like quiet neighborhoods? Or why don't you want to go to the club? Or why, you know, are you, why are you going home so early? Because <laughs> it's your time. Because you're sleepy. <laughs> you know, seriously. You don't have to answer those questions. All right, my love? You just know that um, for a lot of you, you're going to be the blueprint of a blessing. You know? And we've all been, in some time in our lives... Uh, used by God to be a lesson, to be an example. And because we're here and humble, we know that our blessings come because we're being used by God for lessons and karma and things like that. It's the justice energy that does it. 
But every now and then, we're made the example of favor. And that's what this feels like. Like the, the masses are going to see just what pure blessing looks like. What pure blessing looks like. Can I have a center, please, for Libra? What's at the core? Right. Okay. Three of Pentacles. I'm sorry, three of Wands coming in reverse. And here's a seven of... <laughs> Who this? Where it come from? What is this? Something is getting ready to shock the crap out of you. Oh, I hope this ain't no damn Ding Dong Dixie. It sure is. You mother lover. You, this is a hijack. I'm not doing this reading with this deck. It's a hijack. Mother lover. I'm going to touch on this energy right here because it hijacked yours. And that means it must be strong. And then I'm going to grab, let me, matter of fact, let me just grab another deck right now. Because I ain't playing with Charlie. Whoever the heck Charlie is today. In your life. But Charlie can kiss the grits. Okay. All right, so Charlie is a unisex name, so I don't want to hear no crap. Whoever Charlie is to you, this is Charlie's energy. And Charlie, you ain't going to see Charlie coming. The Three of Wands is in reverse. This is an energy of expectation. So you ain't going to expect this. You're going to be confused, Seven of Cups, of the intentions of Charlie. But Charlie is stuck on stupid. Okay, I'm going to tell you that right now. Charlie is lost. I'm lost without you. Yeah. And Charlie wants to work it out. Three of Pentacles. Charlie wants a new beginning. Fool. Charlie wants to. Charlie feels like, look, we are past life connections. We're two in flame. We soul mates. We um, Amos and Andy and we're Ernie and Bert and, and uh, the Raggedy Ann and Andy and all that shit. Damn, Charlie. Um, so Charlie wants to get engaged, get married, move together or whatever. Just be in sync. Okay. Charlie has been trying to block your energy with the nine of wands, but been unsuccessful. All right. Wherever Charlie goes, uh, it follows him. Eight of cups. Okay. So Charlie's saying, I'm, I'm going to finally make a move. You know, I have clarity. I know what I want. Ace of swords. And Charlie is coming to give this cup with the Knight of Cups to you, Queen of Swords. But you said, hold up, Charlie. That's what you said. Hold up, Charlie. Hold up. You got your dukes up. You fighting this thing. All right? Um, you're not impressed by the actions that Charlie are taking with this Page of Wands. And you've already deaded this situation in your life, in your energy, and in your heart. You understand, Libra? So you're going to control your emotions because you're building a new foundation. And Charlie then already took you through the ringer. And you're not going to give Charlie another opportunity to do that again. If you are, you're going to affect how your um, uh, energy will turn, how this wheel turns. If it turns to abundance, you receive abundance. If you if it turns backwards, you get karma. So Libra, it's up to you. I would be logical and wise, King of Swords, about what you do with your love, Queen of Cups. Okay? And that's what that's what I'm giving to Charlie. Because that's a hijack, and I don't do hijacks. So we're gonna do another deck, Libra. But Charlie's energy is strong to knock you out the bucket like that uh, in the core. Oh, heck no. We ain't going to do no whole reading about somebody from 15,000 lifetimes ago. We ain't doing that today. Not in this channel. You know, I don't even play that. I don't like no hijacks. I don't like no hijack readings. Heck no. But I was obedient and I did go through the motions. So y'all can't say, and nobody say, I wasn't obedient. I did. I said everything that Charlie was doing. Shoot. Now, as I was saying, Libras, before we were rudely interrupted, let's talk about Libra. Let me have a center for Libra. Thank you. The star coming in reverse. Yeah. So, and the magician. Yeah. See, 
Libra, you have to lean in. This is what I was saying earlier. Leaning into divine timing. Um, that means when I say that, I mean like it's an energy of trust. It's an energy of faith. And I'm not saying you don't have these things, but I'm saying it's kind of like in your private prayers and meditation, right? You're talking to God right? You're talking to source, you're talking to spirit, whatever you, uh, however you name the maker. All right. The divine. So you're talking to God and you like, look, I know you got me. I feel it. I see it. Um, my energy is picking up on it. I know it's on the horizon, you know, and you might say like, I, I just want to thank you in advance, you know, but can you, um, like give me a heads up? <laughs> Like, I'm not saying I don't trust you or anything. I know you got me, you know, God. But um, I'm just saying, like, you know, could you, like, let me know, like, when? Like, is it two weeks? Is it three? Like, should I pay my rent? Or <laughs> Libra. <laughs> I love you, baby. You negotiating. <laughs> God bless you. Woo. See, you manifesting. Uh, time to to quicken. You understand? Magician energy to the Knight of Pentacles. Look, and there's the... <laughs> you see, you're trying to use your manifestations to make this Knight of Pentacles walk a little faster with your, with your blessing. But you know, if you follow my channel, you know this is my turtle with hemorrhoids. You know it is. It's slower than a mother... Excuse me. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> Mother lover. How about that? Oh, Libra. God bless you. This is too funny. And like, it's funny, but it ain't funny. You know, crown this energy, please, for Libra. Oh, look, the boomstick. God darn, Libra. I mean, it's going to be good, baby. Yes. This new beginning is going to be so awesome. And the great part about this is that it literally, I feel it in every aspect of your energy. Um, I feel it in family, uh, in your health, uh, in your finances, in your living situations, in your connections, even with your self-love, your self-care. Like it's in every aspect of your energy. So this boom stick coming in, the unga bunga baby, you know it, that boom boom stick, ain't nothing like it. Um, it just, when you pull down from that energy and mow through, you're going to literally just go into nothing but creation, pr production, and abundance. Ooh, but you got to mow through that. No worry, no doubt, no fear, no sleepless nights. Nope, nope, nope. Unga bunga your way through. This is where you use your broomstick, baby. When the enemy trying to plant them seeds of destruction in your mind, messing with you in your dreams, got you going backwards, running in circles like you on a on the hamster wheel and all. No, unga bunga. That's where you pull out that broomstick. You say, I'm going to make it. As a matter of fact, it's already done. Matter of fact, move. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Unga bunga. It's abundant energy, baby. Abundant. What's working against Libra right now? What's in the way? Please and thank you. Oh, here's the emperor. This is Charlie. Ah, freaking Charlie. Where did I get Charlie from? I don't even know where that. I should have said Tyrone. <laughs> In my Erica Badu voice. And this is the strength in Eight of Wands. Yeah. Embodying that Empress, taming the beast in you. He might have something to do with that. Whoever Charlie is to you. It doesn't have to be. Uh, th th this is not man, woman. Remember, this is energy. But this is somebody that's boss energy. This is somebody with great control and great power. You understand? Um, but making a quick move. Because the Eight of Wands is here. And this is fast energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Your impatience may work against you. Be mindful of that, okay? Because you got double, this is a double energy here. These aren't connected. You have impatience here working against you and controlling yourself, and then you have Charlie, all right? 
Don't be in my comments talking about who Charlie. I'm telling you now because I don't know. I, I don't know how it came out my mouth, why it came out my mouth, but it did and it feels good and I'm rolling with it. So today, Charlie is whoever and whatever that's in your past that's trying to stop, block, or delay, or jump on the bandwagon of your energy. Okay? All right. Past energy, please, for Libra. What brought this on for Libra? Where is this coming from? Oh. And the Eight of Pentacles coming in reverse. So that's why you're working so hard now. You probably feel like um, in the past you really wasn't giving it your all. So now you're trying to make sure that you are giving 110% of your all into whatever it is that you're doing. Okay? You're definitely going above and beyond uh, to perform. All right? Um, as long as you, it's like, as long as you felt like, how can I say this in the past, an idle mind was the devil's playground, you know? So you, like I said, you may have not been working as much or working as hard or doing as much, um, of the things that you know that needed to be done. And it just created emotional confusion in your life. So that, that makes sense to me now. I think the work ethic that you have today is to avoid this confusion. Okay. Future energy for Libra. Where are we going with this? Future energy for... Friggin' Charlie. God darn. This don't make no sense. Three of Swords. All right, so Charlie might get his fingers hurt. Yeah, his fingers. Lord have mercy. Eight of Swords. He might get his fingers hurt when you slam the door. Um, but Eight of Swords is here. Toilet paper tortured. Uh, because he's not gonna. Charlie's not gonna know what to do. Whoever Charlie is to you, okay, male or female, don't matter to me. Um, but Charlie is gonna be hurt because Charlie is just not gonna see no way out through or around. Um, this situation because Charlie's coming in very bold and confident. When you, if you actually turn Charlie down, they're gonna be clueless. That's a they problem. Libra, you'll be living your best life. Nine of Cups. Charlie is just going to be living with the regrets. Now, going into the future, you may hear um, that somebody's sick or somebody's not doing well without you because you turned them down or because you have them blocked or, you know, um, you might have to decide of whether or not to kind of re reopen com the lines of communication. Um you know, do you, but remember the, here's the wheel again. Here's the wheel again. Empress energy. That's you, babe. You know, however you turn the wheel is what you're going to get. That's it. That's just the bottom line. However you turn the wheel is what you're going to get. So you turn the wheel, you say, look, I want abundance. You can lead a pass in the past. That means that you have to learn how to sit very pretty, regal, strong, grounded in the decision you made because otherwise you'll run into internal conflict and you don't want that either. You know what I'm saying? So embody the queen of pentacles, embody that earth and ground yourself in your decision because you want to be able to withstand internal conflict with balance, six of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, if you stand and protect your peace, protect yourself, there's your Uber coming to get you. Chariot energy, divine motion, have the destination in mind, and there's the new beginning with the fool. Nothing but healing in front of you with this temperance angel. You have new abundance and foundation with the ten of pentacles. You're having some fun meeting new people with the nine of wands, and you're learning how to uh, uh, juggle, uh, What what is it? Uh, like juggle uh, like your time, time management. That's what I want to say. Because there was a time when you would let the fun overtake your responsibilities. But you, now this process, you kind of learning, okay, yep, I'm going to play a little bit and I'm going to work a little bit. And it, it'll be in a, a more healthy manner. But that would be because you're applying wisdom to your life now. It's not that you never had the knowledge before. You're not crazy or stupid, but you just weren't applying it. You weren't being wise. You may have been smart, but you weren't being wise. You know what I'm saying? So the hermit energy reminds us to apply the knowledge uh, to action, to of wands, so that we can 
live in this world around people, places, and things that could hurt us or that may have hurt us in the past, but you know now you know how to protect yourself, okay? You know that you are justice, all right? You know that your scales will deliver karma if need be. So whoever did what and behind your back, seven of swords, God has revealed and given you divine clarity of that situation, ace of swords, so that you can leave that situation alone and abandon it, five of pentacles, and make new healthy connections with the two of cups. This is a process for you, uh, page of swords and page of wands, meeting new people, making new friends. It's really like... I feel like this is taking years. I'm not lying. I'm sorry, Libra. I love you so much, but I, I'm going to tell you the truth. It, there's a couple years here. This process in itself, just for you to have a friend, like a, just a regular old buddy, it's taking years. But look, it's so worth it. It's so much better to be in a healthy um, connection than it is to have 10 connections with toxic people. I mean, honestly, if you look at your social media, you can have hundreds of... Um, hundreds of um sub, what, what uh, followers right but how many really would you invite to your dinner table how many really even know where you live you know what i'm saying but i'm talking about that select few you can uh, select wisely, seven of cups, people who are aligned with you, aligned with life, trying to do what you're trying to do, get where you're trying to go. You know what I mean? Lover's energy here. That's a great connection. That's in alignment with the assignment, okay? And nothing but happiness as an independent, all right? Judgment is being called and growth is here, all right, with the hair font. So hold on a little longer, Libra. I know I've said it before. And I'm going to say it again. Change is coming. Change is coming. As far as Charlie, do you? I, I, I can't tell you no advice on that. Do you? All right. But be careful. Make st Whatever decision you make, stand on it. Okay? Because this is going to be it. All right? If any event you say green eyes, I don't know about this one. I don't know nobody named damn Charlie. That means you missed the whole point, all right? I, I, and, and that's okay. We ain't gonna force this thing. Uh, check out your moon arising. Don't take this energy. It's not yours, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you're notified of future readings. It's free and it supports the channel, okay? If you're interested in more content, I post more content with a membership. Boomstick Level gets an all access. Leap of Faith gets a little. They both get free giveaways on a monthly basis. Jump on board and plant a seed. Other than that, guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.